All right. This one's weird because there's two sides to the coin that everyone's talking about in this story, and I don't know what to believe. Hollywood is buzzing at the news that music producer and one of the biggest names in music, Scooter Braun, is no longer repping some of the biggest names in entertainment. There have been multiple reports that a number of stars are parting ways, including Demi Lovato, Ariana Grande, Yadel Yazim, <laughs> sorry, Idina Menzel. <laughs> I'll never let that go. Jay Balvin parted ways in May with him. There are so many conflicting reports on this. So, so here, here's the problem. NBC News is reporting Braun is focusing on a new role. He's going to be CEO of Hive's American branch. It's a big role, which is why artists are transferring out of his current management. And you see that all the time. You see that in hockey. You see that in sports. It's, it's not a, a crazy occurrence. Mm -hmm. As for Justin Bieber... Scooter Braun is known, obviously, for basically discovering the kid on YouTube and building his growth and career ever since. Bieber recently denied that he, too, is looking to part ways with Scooter Braun. However, People Magazine reported Bieber is working on new music without Scooter Braun for the first time in 16 years, which is significant. Mm -hmm. Is some tea about to be spilled on Scooter Braun? Apparently... Scooter poked fun at the situation on Twitter, saying, breaking news, I am no longer managing myself. It's getting out of hand here. And there is some speculation that, like, an article is about to drop that does not paint him in the best light. I, I have no idea what that would be about. But people are trying to, because when you see an exodus like this and you can't explain it, mm -hmm. sometimes you'll be able to explain it in, like, a week or two. Right. But that, that's just part of the speculation with this. We have no concrete evidence that, that any type of smear job or very negative article is coming out on Scooter Braun. Now, the other part of Scooter Braun that we need to bring up is obviously the history with Taylor Swift, which in a way has, has kind of elevated Taylor even more. Uh, Braun acquired Big Machine Records four years ago, which led to the falling out with Taylor Swift. The record label was the one Swift had recorded her first six records with. Braun sold Swift's music catalog to a private equity company which Swift famously publicly condemned, and then she re-recorded a bunch of her stuff. She's continuing to do that. So that's why you see Taylor's version on a lot of stuff now. So Scooter Braun won't get the revenue. Anyway, Scooter Braun is in the middle of a lot of stuff in Hollywood, and no one's really sure what's going on here. But, Tam, I, got, I have a feeling we haven't seen the last shoe to drop in the store. I wonder if uh, because Taylor's heiress um, tour is doing so well and because she's been doing this re-record and the slow releasing of Taylor's version of these albums and songs, if that's got some of these artists thinking, okay, let me separate myself from him because I don't want to end up in that boat later on and having to, to deal with that. Taylor was the first one to come out with uh, criticism against what he did with her catalog, so... Maybe it's something along those lines. I mean, you or never know. Is there something more? Yeah. That's Look, there out. is. I, I, I'm not surprised. Now, it's not a new story that Scooter Braun sold off Taylor no. Swift's catalog and, and this huge controversy erupted. It's not a new story. But, uh, you know, d is it in the back of people's minds? Right. Ariana Grande, Justin Bieber, Demi Lovato, like some big, big artists. Yeah, and we're talking about her so much yes. more, Taylor Swift so much more because of know. the success of the tour, right? All I know is this level of celebrity power to literally run away from the same representative at the same time is odd. Mm -hmm. It is really strange, and it, it, uh, it reeks of something a bit more than just, oh, I'm getting promoted. Even if you're getting promoted, do you still want, not want to rep some of the biggest names in music? Yeah. It seems like a nat, you know, something you might want to do. So we'll, we'll keep a close eye on this. Devo will definitely, because there's something smells odd with this. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, got, it's garnering a lot of speculation, so we'll keep you updated as the days and weeks progress on that front.